Okay, so how do you shade in After Effects? Let's draw a little circle. Call this base color. Let's just make it a white skin color, so no, kind of like a pink. Like a light pink like this. Now, I'm going to duplicate this and call this shade 1. Now, to make a kind of darker shade, instead of just going straight down like this to make it darker, what I usually do is I just go along to the right and make it more red. Then I switch to a mask. And I draw a little uh, shape like this underneath. And then I double tap M a couple of times and I increase the feathering. Push this up to accentuate it. Now I'm going to duplicate the base color again and pop that on the top. To move a layer, hold down Alt Command and then up and down, depending on where you want to move it. I'm going to change the color to white. And then I'm going to mask off a little circle, kind of like a oblong up here. F for feather, and then increase the feather of the mask. Now it kind of looks a little bit shiny, like it's reflecting a light that's coming from above. What you can also do is uh, duplicate the base color again. Call this uh, rim light. In the real world, a rim light is a light that you put behind an object to give it a sort of thin white glow on its outside. So let's do that with this. Make this white. Mask. And then let's go really close to the edge and make a very thin mask of the shape. You see that? Maybe even get it as close to the edge as possible. Press F for feather and then increase the feathering. Might even need to push it a bit further out so that it's as thin as possible. Almost unnoticeable, but it's still there. I'm going to uh, make the shade a little bit darker. Now what you can also do is make a new adjustment layer, do color correction and hue and saturation. Then I'm going to turn this round to make it more purple. Draw a mask like this, like a moon, like a crescent moon, and then press F for feathering and then increase the feathering. Now what that does is it subtly changes the hue because when in sunlight, uh, shadows are more bluey than, than black. So what we can also do is uh, pre-comp these, duplicate that, and say generate, fill, and then make it a dark blue. Turn the transparency down and draw a mask, just like we did before. F for feather, and then increase the feathering like that. And then if I wanted to make it kind of like a, like a cartoony kind of shine, I can put like a couple of these white oblongs on the top with no feather. Just duplicate the path. Make this one uh, smaller. Pop it next to that one. It all depends what your style is. It all depends what you want to see. That's basically how you shade something in After Effects. Let me show you how to apply this to a hand. Okay, so here we have a hand and everything is exactly the same color. How do we make the fingers distinct from one another using shading? Well, the shadow of this thumb is going to be on the index finger. So if we duplicate the index finger and call it index shade and then we change the color to a more ready pink and then we uh, draw a little mask where the thumb overlaps with the index finger then we can feather this mask then you see that the thumb is distinct from the index finger let's do the same with the rest of them so we'll duplicate the middle finger and call this middle shade let's change the color then i'm going to do exactly what i did and draw a little mask over where one finger overlaps with the other finger. Then I'm going to feather the mask, and I'm going to make sure that the feather has the same amount or nearly the same amount of feathering as the other one. Duplicate the ring finger, ring shade. I'm going to pick whip it to this color. And mask it.
Then I'm going to pick whip the mask feather to there. And lastly, I'm going to do it to the little finger. So duplicate the little finger, call it little shade. Pick whip the color. Mask it off. And then parent the feather amount to the original feather amount. We can also uh, duplicate the arm, make that more of a red, we can mask that off. Feather it. We can also give the arm a rim light. So let's call this arm rim. Pop that above. And then switch to a mask. And draw it very close to the edge. And then feather it. Oh, so slightly. We can also uh, create an adjustment layer. Maybe we can uh, do the... Um, the change the hue to a more purple hue and then across the whole thing draw a mask like this and then feather it and then I guess maybe another adjustment layer effect generate fill and make that the dark blue just like we did before with the sphere Put that down to about 30%. And mask that off as well. See, it all really depends where you want the light coming from, what kind of story you're telling, what you want it to look like. I mean, this might not be correct for the arm that you draw, but it's all really the same techniques. I mean, we can, we can pop the shadow over here instead so that it gets darker as it goes off screen. That, that probably makes more sense. Give that mask a little curve. Maybe increase the uh, the feathering. Maybe we can even duplicate the arm. Call this arm reflection. Pop this all the way at the top. So hold down Alt, Command, Shift and Up. So it's the top layer. Turn it white. And then just mask off like a like a long oblong of it, like that. And then increase the feathering. See, that's some nice looking shading. Maybe I want to duplicate the thumb, make that a little bit more red. Mask that off. And feather it. You see, now it's starting to turn from like 2D shape layers into a kind of almost a 3D looking hand. See, here's an example of shading being applied to a character. What I did was I just duplicated her head and I made a, a new head, made it more red, then I masked it, did the same to the ears. I duplicated the neck, I made uh, the duplicate blue, I then turned the opacity down to uh, about 30%. And then I masked it off with a non-feathered mask, and I did the same to the legs as well. But then for the rim light, all I did was I just duplicated the character, I made the duplicate white, and then I just moved the duplicate up like that, so that it's just slightly offset from the original position.